This was a sight many people dreaded to see in Turkey. As the 15-year-old Berkin Elvan's coffin moved through the crowd, the feeling here was a mixture of sadness, grief and anger. Berkin died in hospital earlier in the day after nine months in a coma. There were appeals for restraint by Turkish authorities. I express my condolences to the family of the deceased and share their pain. I underline that everyone must be very careful not to let any new incident occur and allow any new pain to happen. But within hours, demonstrations started across the country. Protesters had bread because Berkin's family said he was out on his way to buy bread for breakfast when he was injured. Soon, thousands were out on the streets. There are clashes taking place just behind me. There's a water cannon down the road and the, and the police intervention. Taksim is just behind there. People were marching towards Taksim Square in their thousands. And now police is blocking that road with a bus. People are really very angry. Berkin's death raised the number of people killed in the protests to at least eight, including a police officer. Several police officers were questioned about Berkin's head injury, but none has yet been charged. Selim Girit, BBC News, Istanbul.